Hey mate, I'm Alex. And I'm Gaston. Welcome to Power Mates. This is a place to learn and share about Fabric and Power Platform. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this channel with your friends and colleagues. So today, Power Mates, imagine that we are just finishing a meeting between our team members or with Alex, and within minutes, all our action items are going to be directly in planner for instance all the owners assigned and a summary post directly in teams so today we will show you how to make that happen using power automate and ai prompts yeah exactly aston so for demo purpose you know we will take a team's meeting transcript and run it through a AI prompt in Power Automate, extract, for example, action items and decisions, then we can then automatically create a planner task, a, a task, or, or even, I don't know, just send an email to the stakeholders. But let's focus on, on a meeting transcription. So the transcription, of course, could be from Teams, as I mentioned, uh, or any other system. Let's say you are using other communications tool. I don't know. So you can use, uh, get the transcription and then use the same Power Automate flow with the AI prompt to process the transcription. Uh, so just for in the objective of this demo, let's assume we have the team meeting transcription. We have access to the transcript that is going to be stored on OneDrive or SharePoint and what I'm saying that uh, the difference is because if you are saving uh, a transcription on a personal team, it's going to be stored on one, right? You are saving a transcription for your corporate, so it's a team meeting, it's going to be saved on SharePoint. That's the difference between where teams store the transcription, depends of the type of the account, your business, personal, and so on, okay? Just that. And then, uh, of course, we are going to need Power Automate uh, with AI Builder and, of course, some of planners or team permission of tasks to create the plan. But let, again, let's focus on the transcription process. Yeah, and, you know, for those that maybe are not kind of so familiarized with teams, Teams usually, as Alex mentioned before, yeah, store exactly. the transcript in OneDrive if you have a private meeting or in SharePoint if you have channel meetings. So the option could be doing everything manually, like a flow or trigger a flow when you have a new, usually the extension is BTT, that is the transcript format file. And once you have that file drop in a folder, you can automatically trigger our automate process all right so let's get over to my machine and create the the flow the ai, the AI prompt and let us have how it works and 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 then a couple of conclusions and see how we how you can improve even more that solution okay as usual uh this should be like the we we mentioned that thousands of times but uh this is the power automate uh home page again make.powerautomate.com. I have the preview here because I'm using a preview tenant, but doesn't matter. You can use just make.powerautomate.com. Another comment is because we received a couple of questions and, and comment on, on, on YouTube and someone asking every time is like, hey, Alex Gaston, how we can use Fabric or Power Automate. So it's always the same answer, but you can create your own uh, Microsoft 365 developer account and start using those uh, those tools like Microsoft 365, uh, Power Platform, and Fabric. So that said, let's create a Power Automate flow that is going to be triggered once the transcript uh, is stored on a OneDrive folder. So our trigger is going to be when file is created on a folder. Okay, let's create the flow. Let's create here and automated cloud flow. So the flow is PowerMate transcriptions. And here, okay, here it is when a file is created. So you can see, say, OneDrive for business, because again, if you are using a personal OneDrive, you need to select the personal and not the business, but probably most of you are using a business OneDrive. So let's create here invalid connection. So let me change my connection. Let me add a new one. 
and then I need the folder. What, what that folder means is the folder where uh, the team's meeting transcriptions uh, will be stored after the meeting ends, or let's assume you're using team, but again, if you're using like Zoom or, or others, you can get the transcription and save uh, on the folder by yourself. So let's select the folder. I have a folder created here, just for demo purpose name PowerMates. So let's select PowerMate here. And that's it. This is the first step. First step is what is going to be the trigger for our Power Automate flow when a file is created. That means that every time you create or you drag and drop or you upload a new file transcription or transcription file, it's going to this trigger is going to be this flow is going to be triggered. Okay, this is the first step. It, this flow is is going to be pretty easy. Okay, but the, the objective that you can see how quickly you can create those kinds of solutions or types and then you know, you can continue improving other more and more. So the second is what we want to do right now. Then we have other options. Maybe I am like a parenthesis here for one second is, I am doing that automatically, no? When a file is created, you can also just run the flow manually. So the trigger could be a manually trigger flow. So you say, I am going to upload a file to some folder and then just click on run the flow set the, the URL or the file path and run the flow on top of that file. You don't need to make that automatically. Of course, this is going to be better because you don't need to run your flow by, by your own, by yourself. You just need to upload the file to the, um, to the folder or also if you are using Teams file transcription, it's going to be automatically. So let's, the second step, and, and it's the most important, is the run the prompt because is where you effectively are processing the, the transcription and extracting some of your uh, the insight you need from that transcription, okay? So let's click on run a prompt here and then create a new prompt. Of course, if you have already created prompt, you can, se you can select it or you want to use a pre-built prompt, you can use it, you, you, uh, okay? but. In this case, we are going to create our own prompt to extract the information from the meetings. Okay, so let's click on new custom prompt. Okay, so here we are. This is our new custom prompt. So let's do something simple here. You can use Copilot, okay, to create your prompt. <laughs> Again, this is, uh, uh, we, we mentioned that a couple of times we got done. It's like Inception. You are using Copilot. You are prompting Compiler to create a prompt, but I'm going to create my prompt, my own prompt, but you can use also Compiler. Let's say like extract action items and dates from the following meeting transcription. Okay. So it's a simple, this is a super uh, simple prompt. Extract action items and date from the following meeting transcription. So what is the following meeting transcription? Should be like a variable. Let's say this a text. We are going to send a text. Could be a, a document. Just for demo purpose, let's use text so we can send directly the text, the file content that is the text directly from Power Automate. But you can use directly an image or a document either. Text input is the transcript. Okay. And then let's say, of course, we can use also uh, in the instructions. I are going to, to show that later. But in this first step is you can also massage the output and say, let's transform the output into a JSON with that particular schema or format because you need some machine readable. So this is, this is a good, also a, a good, a good thing is like trying to create the output on more like a general way with JSON or something, not just, uh, plain text. Okay. So transcript. So here, okay. We have the prompt. Okay. So now we need to send the transcript. So we have the file create file create here action. So we need to use the content. So we go to insert content and let's use file content. So that the text from the, from the file. Okay. And then for just for demo propose in this case, let's use a compose of uh, action just in order to see what is the, the output are and we can compare what's happening and then we see the next step. So let's insert uh, the text, okay? So the, the result for the prompt. 
So let's click on save. Let me show you here. It's like me transcript, 2025 strategic planning meeting, the date, the attendees, the duration, and then what happened, who was the speaker, and so on, and then a summary. So let's use that as our uh, Teams meeting transcription. I have here the folder created. So let's drag and drop the transcription. We are emulating what the Teams should do after a meeting ends to upload the transcription here. But again, if you're using other tools, you know, Slack or, or, or Zoom, you can grab your meeting transcription and upload here too. So let's go back and let's see. This flow should run in a couple of seconds. Okay, so as you can see here, the flow runs. So let's click here and see what the results are. So the file created, then we run the prompt and then we got the result. So let's check the results. So as you can see here, this is a better way to see. I think here it's going to be better. Okay. So from the meeting transcript, one, you know, from the meeting transcript, GTM strategy Trump owner shown due date February 28th. The second, AI analytic pro roadmap, the third. So it's worked pretty well. It's worked pretty good. And also extract information we 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 require on the prompt. So let's see one more thing is here is like, okay, as you can see here, the, the, the flow is pretty simple. But what you can do here is, as I mentioned, is okay, let's create a planner task or a task or, or, or approval task or something. For example, as you can see here, we have the GTM strategy a strategy draft, a loaner uh, shown, and due date February 28, 2026. So we can also, we have the prompt, we can like edit the prompt and say, okay, from here, um, format the output as chase. Doesn't matter the format, but just for the proposal, we can format as JSON. Let's save. Let's run again the same same flow. I'm going to run from here from tests. Uh, this is something if you are playing around with Power Auto, may want to test. You don't need to upload a new file and run again. You can just click on test the flow automatically with a recently used trigger and use the previous one. So you don't need to do the whole wait couple of minutes to make the flow trigger. You can use right away the previous previous one and and, and test right away. So as you can see here, the flow is running. Let's see what happened. And also, okay, let's see the output again. And as you can see here, as a JSON format, now we have the action items as a list. And then we have an object with the task, the owner, and the due date. So now we know the schema of this JSON output. And also we can parse that JSON. This is the last thing I want to show you, but we can we can parse that JSON. I am not going to do that right now, but you can parse that JSON right now. And also after part the JSON that you can create a planner or you can just start start an approval and say, create an approval, you know, let's click on connect and create the approval and the approval task is approve or reject, uh, reject uh, everyone must, uh, must approve or first respond, whatever. And then the title could be exactly what we have here on the compose was the, the task you know, and then uh, the assigner to is the owner for this action item. So you can start adding more and more complexity to that flow. You can create tasks, you can create planner, you can send emails, but you need to, the, the the point here is you need to play around with the JSON, with the format, how the how the every object looks like, and then parse it, and then add the 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 other uh, step here to create a task, create a planner, send an email create a document, whatever. Okay, so that's pretty much what we want to show you today in terms of get a meeting transcription, run a simple prompt. And again, my prompt was pretty simple. You can give more and more options like extract the name, extract the date, action items, or even extract the information specific for financial services. Or you can start, you know, playing and, and improve the prompt. So, uh, Gaston, what are your thoughts around the AI prompt for, for meeting transcriptions?
Well, this is this is great. Not not only because the kind of the type of automation that we are solving with this one, it's awesome how quickly and easy it is for kind of build all the automation from scratch, and it's really interesting. So, kind of a few tips, at least from my end. One is you can trick using just JSON in your prompt yeah, for reliability. Uh, you can add, you know, because we are kind of augmenting the process, but you can be human centric and add an approval step, you know, for some kind of sensitive information of meetings. You can also, I think that check with, you know, the AI builder, create the usage, you know, and all the rational availability around this. Thing. Yeah, Gaston, and the last point is important because sometimes I'm like, okay, I want to use AI builder, but for some reason I need to use the uh, uh, my, my power platform environment on some specific region and maybe the AI builder uh, are not uh, available there. So it's something that is nice to check before decide to use AI builder or use, for example, uh, Azure AI or, or AI Foundry and all. So yeah, PowerMate, that is how you turn meetings, transcription in real action with Power Automate with an AI prompt. If this helped, so hit the like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, you know, it's, it's free to subscribe and, and like and, and really help us as a community to reach others outside that may need this kind of information. I want to learn more. Stay tuned, stay powerful and, and, and join us on this journey. And remember, PowerMates, as usual, together, let's unlock the full potential of Power Platform and Microsoft Power. Yeah.